Okay, here we go. I think we've got it all sorted out. Sure, whatever. Through a lifetime spent in the pursuit of knowledge, one question consumed me. How did our world come to be? The old ones perished a thousand years ago, triggering the extinction of all life. She showed me how it was reborn. A little outcast girl, ignorant of her own importance. Through her, I learned that life was only saved through a technological miracle, Zero Dawn. A terraforming system composed of nine subordinate functions. Each playing its part to reshape Earth from a barren rock to a lush landscape. Tended and protected by the machines. And with her, I learned the deepest secret of them all the secret of her birth. That she is a clone of Elizabeth Subek, Zero Dawn's creator, born to prevent a new extinction. Driven by Hades, a malevolent AI. Given sentience by a mysterious signal of unknown origin. And with a little help from me, she prevailed in a great battle at the city of Meridian. Becoming a champion for all humankind. But as useful as she has been, now I must leave her behind. For as she strives to put right what Hades sundered, I have made a new discovery. One that heralds both destruction and opportunity. because of a terraforming system that's spiraling out of control. And only I can fix it. Only I have your genetic code. It won't be long before we hit the point of no return. And then, extinction. 
I've been searching for months for what I need. A backup of Gaia. The AIU designed to control the system. But every time I think I have a lead, it comes to nothing. And every night, I have the same dream. I'm walking under a brilliant night sky, through a field of flowers. And when I arrive at the center, I see you, Elizabeth. Now it looks like we have someone else. Waiting for me. Athenian. Even though you've been dead for a thousand years. You're the closest person I've ever had to a mother. And for a moment, I feel whole. How's that? Better? <laughs> I'm always left alone. This world is your legacy, Elizabeth. Yeah, that's what it I won't let be, it slip it away. Be, um... Oh, I wonder if Twitch is also just picking up straight from the valley the below is my only remaining good, lead. Good my last hope to find the backup. I'll do whatever it takes to get it. I promise. <laughs> if it isn't Aloy, the savior of Meridian, anointed of the Nora. You know I hate being called that we stuff. Well, consider it a punishment for running out on us the very same night we beat Hades. I grew up an outcast. Remember, I'm not much for parties. Yeah. But that one was in your honor. And that case same. Put on headphones. So... What are we doing? Must be urgent since you left so fast. Delving into ancient ruins? Or maybe it has something to do with the Blight. Both, actually, but, um... I, I should... Oh, no. I've been tracking you a long way. It's okay. After everything you've done to help the Nora and my family, I well, swore I an oath to help you, the game no all. matter what. But you're stuck with me now. Like bark on wood. Is Twitch still pulling the audio from the game? Can we hear it from the game? Okay. But, if you're going to come with me, you'll need to be able to see what I see. <sighs> A focus? Never thought I'd get your second sight. I'll give you another one later oh, and that show you how to back up your data. Data? Information on the device. We've got a lot to cover. Um, I'll have to explain everything as we go. Let me try something. You see like this all the time? Since I was a little girl. Come on.
Shall we? Grapes on the way here. We should find some medicinal plants. Stock up. So it's time for your first lesson with the focus. Sounds good. Let's get started. These plants don't look like the ones in the sacred lands. The focus helps you see the ones we need. There. Those plants by the stream should do the trick. here too. Yeah, I Sorry, there was there. something I needed to do. Oh, Salvaging machine carcasses as usual. And there it is. Looks like they left a carcass behind. What are we after exactly? The backup? Well, um, it's an AI. It's, um, it's hard to explain. Think of it like a set of instructions that can fix the world. Sounds complicated. What arrow was in that machine? Better take a closer look. Someone took down this machine recently. Oh yeah, it looks Who else like that. Who else it? I don't know. We better craft some rooms of our own. On the PS4. There might be trouble up ahead. There's some Ridgewood by the stream. It was actually the first game that I played in a long time. I had taken a break from video games for a while, and I played it like maybe 2018. Um, and then getting this on the There's a ladder. A huge, huge difference. But can't reach it from here. Nothing a well-placed arrow can't knock free. Just have to target the lock. some arrows. My voice Done. is too quiet. Is that... Me too. Oh, okay. Arrows ready. 
I feel like I'm yelling, but maybe I can move the microphone a little closer. That did it. After you. I read an article today about this game that said uh, the reason, By the whole reason why they um, delayed it so much was what because was they this wanted place? to um, to make sure that they know. weren't like crunching at the last. The transmission. The uh, to, like, message you know, I found didn't say. Update with, like, Only that a backup might be here. Whatnot, so. We need all to find all a way in. All. Looks good. So, um, what happened after I left Meridian? Well, there was a fuss when people realized you were gone. But then some of us figured you only would have left if it were for something important. You were right about that. Down this way. Get to the cross. Sliding. Never seen one of those before. Me neither. Machines have it on alert. How do you want to handle it? The focus can help us. We can scan the machine before we make our move. Okay. Give it a second. Okay. See how parts of it are glowing? Those are its weak spots. Got it. Okay, concentrate. Another one's coming. How does the focus know all that? It reads data on the machine. Like a hunter studying its prey? Yeah, kind of. So after the fuss over me leaving, what did everyone else do? Well, as soon as the my mother led the rest of the Nora home. The son came putting people to work rebuilding the city. I set out to find you. You said you've had a focus since you were a child, right? Yeah. Found my first one when I fell into a ruin. Got the others from an old cache not long ago. That's good to have extras. Oh, did she give him a focus? I didn't even notice. Zenith launch facility. Our Zenith? I, I know they made some tech trades with Zero Dawn, but why would they have a backup of Gaia? Corporate espionage. Please That's register right. with reception for the tour. I guess they want us to check in with them. An ancient wreath and I should be able to pry this open. There's climbing gear. Guess someone dropped in from above. Can I acquire Whoever left us here might have also shot those machines we found earlier. So where are they now? Ugh. What's that stench? The entire camp. I doubt. They must have come here to dump for scrap. Acid. That explains the smell. And it looks... 
Looks like something big came in from above. Crashed right through the camp. And then through the wall. I should take a look at the rubble in that gap. Whatever came through here brought this down as it went out. If I can dislodge some of the debris, we might be able to squeeze through. Maybe I can find something to help in the camp. Aloy, over here. I think I got something. It's some kind of Osram prototype, I think. This hook looks like it can latch onto things. And this gear pulls it back. Hmm. It looks broken, but maybe we can repair it. Hook it to the debris. And pull it out. That could work. The focus can help us search the camp and identify anything we can use to fix the tool. My focus picked up a couple of things to check out. Poor guy. Acid burned right through his armor. A lot of surprise here. Do I still need to be louder? I guess they plan to stay a while. Oh. I was just complaining that I don't like the new focus. Part of a machine. Could help fix the, the gears. You came in, like, two minutes into the game. You, it was still opening cutscenes when you joined us. You didn't miss anything. It, the, um, I think the only things that you missed were the recap, where it just um, kind of gave a quick what happened in part one and the story so far. Machine cable. Stronger than rope. All right, oh, I think I have what I need to repair the tool. Or maybe even make something better. You could... Inventory, resources, special gear. Okay, so how do I use it to, uh... It's workbench. Oh. Oh, there's workbenches and crafting in this one. Cool. I like that. A pole caster. An improved version of a delver's prototype tool that can latch onto and pull objects. Also enables grappling to specific points. Cool. A fancy grappling point. There. Uh, pole caster. Now to test it on the debris. It's not an equipable weapon, though. Okay, it doesn't work. Pole caster's first up tool that allows you to manipulate objects in the environment that have a graded pattern. Okay. And how exactly do I. Oh, hold out to the patch. than I thought. Well, it doesn't look like there's an easy way out of here. I should scan the area. We have to find a way to keep going. What's this? Huh. What's this thing for? Let's find out. Whoa. Good morning. 
I'm Oswald Dalgard, and it is my pleasure to introduce you to Far Zenith. Forget what you think you know about us. Our truth is simple. We say reach for the stars, even if you have to cross 8.6 light years of space to get there. Please proceed into the auditorium, where we'll unveil our plans. Wonder what's in this auditorium. Guess we'll find out. It makes them sound like NASA or something. Obviously, they didn't get to the stars considering Earth is dead. Sorry, I had to check something out. You were saying something before I left? Any luck? Not yet. But scanning the area with my focus activated might show me something. The pulse didn't turn up much. I better scan. Activate my focus. Scan the area. Oh, I might be able to get up there. I don't think I'm doing this right. Tap you can grapple with specific points in the world. Tap, jump, and tap X to attach to it. Oh, oh. Oh, I get it. Wow, that works. Does it more automatically. That pull caster's useful. Too bad there's only one. Don't worry, I'll find you another way up. Well, you could just toss him down the grappling hook, you jerk. That was a bit of a close call. Okay, I gotta drop the ladder for Varl. There you go, Varl. Thanks. sapiens us we have always pushed the boundary as explorers pioneers trailblazers and now far zenith is taking the next leap into the future that's why we're proud to have resurrected the odyssey when our governments abandoned in orbit far zenith will actualize in less than a decade but that's only the beginning when the ship is complete, we will send the Odyssey and her crew where no one's gone before. The Sirius system. There, we'll create humanity's first off-world colony. 
The Odyssey may take 300 years to reach it, but when we look up at the night sky, we'll know they're on so their way. The Odyssey would have gotten there 700 years ago. And in the words of our founder, the late Peter Chimvumbe, the truest form of immortality is data corrupt. <laughs> Playback stopped. The old ones could fly through the sky? Between the stars? Uh, well, oh. yes, sort of. That ship, the Odyssey, it, it never made it to the other star. Something went wrong, and it blew up. That sucks. I thought I was going to be able to, like, kill robot dinosaurs in space. That crap. <laughs> Is that why Elizabeth gave them a backup of Gaia? For their colony? That makes sense if they were going to power on the planet. Error. Public presentation file corrupted. Member recruitment file available. Do you wish to reactivate? Yeah. Reactivate. Let's see what else they had to say. We all know the projections. Economic instability, new biocontagions, rampant AIs. How long before another catastrophe creates unacceptable risk for the world's elite? We here at Far Zenith believe, escape the inevitable. And so we reach for the stars. Now you've seen what we're building here. Infrastructure to support the Odyssey's construction. A state-of-the-art data center to facilitate rapid technological advancements. And you've seen how we're managing public perception. So invest and join us. Claim your birth on the Odyssey. Preserve your way of life beyond the concerns of Earth. Well, they were right about the world ending. They just didn't know how. Yet. So everything they said back there about the next step for humanity, it was all a lie. These people only cared about saving their own skin. Yeah, well, didn't work out for them in the end. That Oswald guy mentioned a data center. There, the backup. It should be stored in there. Won't be able to swim across. I guess we'll have to find a way around. I have a grappling hook. I can get anywhere, guys. The wilds have really grown over this place. some friends from underground. Okay. You take the left one. I'll deal with the one on the right. Okay. Moving up. I need to sneak up on it to take it out with my spear. Can't let it see me. I should scan it first. Check its patrol path. Position. Ready when you are. 
Damn! Spotted! I have to go sneak up on it, okay? Stop. I need to sneak up on it to take it out with my spear. Can't let it see me. I should scan it first. Check its patrol path. Gotta get closer and stay out of sight. down too. been meaning to mention i noticed you have a new look these days yeah the beard <laughs> yeah i know didn't have a lot of time to shave when i was trying to catch up to you how many years don't you worry it's not permanent good sorry my whiskers offend you anointed looks like this little guy got caught up in the blight i couldn't escape i hope it didn't suffer long Osram must have used explosives against the machines. They managed to get a couple. Looks like there was a barricade here. The machines must have broken through. I'll keep this for later. Guess that Osram didn't have a chance to use it. Careful. Traps ahead. Huh. Might be able to disarm them. to salvage some supplies and not blow yourself up dismantled it and got more supplies looks like another camp while we're here maybe we can make some traps of our own might come in handy against machines good idea I can use this Supplies to craft a trap, but it looks like the Osram shot off some machine parts. I might be able to scrounge up enough materials from them. There, explosive trap made. If anything walks into one of those, it won't know what hit it.
Over here. Aloy. I think I see a way up. Hang on, man. There's another treasure chest. Weak points are. Maybe we could place one of those traps you made in its path. Let's keep going then. You've been in a lot of old world ruins. Are they all like this? They all have their secrets, but every place is different. storm picking up out there. Yeah. And they're getting stronger. And more frequent. So the storms, the blighted lands, the rivers and lakes choked with algae. You were born to fix all that? Yeah. But I can only do it if I find that backup. I think we're winding our way around to the data center. We'll need to cut through that big building on the right out there. Looks like we've got to climb up. We won't be going that way. This place is falling apart. Well, it is a thousand years old. Looks like some kind of meeting room. Onzu. The Zero Dawn terraforming system, the brainchild of Dr. Elizabeth Sobek, empowered by nine subordinate functions, 
Gaia, the core of the system, is capable of advanced planetary engineering, an obvious advantage to our space colonization efforts. Operation Phase 1. Establish an asset within Project Zero Dawn. Status complete. Phase 2. The asset will secretly beamcast a complete copy of Gaia and her subordinate functions to this facility's data center. If all goes well, Zero Dawn staff will remain completely unaware of the transmission. Risks. Discovery of this operation could result in Zero Dawn withholding the already negotiated Apollo database. Special care must be taken not to alert Travis Tate, the expert hacker in charge of Hades protocol. In addition, extreme caution must be exercised in regards to Dr. Sobek herself. As one of the world's preeminent technologists, she may have instituted unforeseen security measures. A complete assessment is attached. This concludes the executive summary. I thought Elizabeth sent the backup here, but she didn't. Far Zenith stole Gaia. Aloy, why does that woman look like you? Uh, um, it's okay, Prawl. We look alike because we're the exact same, genetically identical. But she was one of the old ones. How can you be her? Because I wasn't born. I was made by a machine. It's why I'm motherless, why I was cast out as an infant. I don't understand. What kind of machine can make a person? Remember when I said the backup is like a set of instructions? It's more than that. It's called Gaia. And for a long time, she cared for the world until she had to destroy herself, so she made me to bring her back. I'm the only one who can. And this place is my last hope. You once said the goddess spoke to you when you went into All Mother Martin. Was that this Gaia? Yes, but she's not the goddess, Laurel. There isn't one. How can you be sure? It sounds like she anointed you with a sacred task. <sighs> I've had a lot of time to figure this out. And you will too, with the focus. But for now, the report said they were going to store the stolen copy of Gaia in the data center. So that's where we have to go. Okay? One of my favorite parts about the first game was trying to guess what was going on. Oh, okay. Yeah, the, a, a lot of that um, being from the first game, huh. it was, Aloy was that. basically just this little... Aloy, over here! Was cast out I found something you could use! ...why and who she was, and that's basically at the... the Those Osram must have left us by... weapon. Big reveal was Thanks, that she Rome. was a clone of the creator of Gaia. We should keep moving. After you. Down here. I think we're almost back outside. Good. Look, that must be the machine. It's in the same direction we're going. Great. One of those machines. I could try out that new weapon on it. I can do more damage to it while it's brittle. I better switch to my bow. It's already dead. More of the Osram Delvers. A lot of acid. 
That big machine must have attacked as they tried to escape. They didn't stand a chance. Looks like we can cross over here. So, you said this backup is the last hope. Yeah. All those places I've been these last few months, there were supposed to be more backups. But a thousand years ago, a guy named Ted Farrow purged them all. Was he part of Far Zenith too? No. He was worse. Imagine going up to these guys, but didn't catch a break. Journal. Day one, we descended into the valley and breached the ruins. Boss always had a good sense for delve sites. By the whole, she was right. This place is untouched. Had to knock a few machines while we were moving our gear. Pesky things kept popping out of the ground, but otherwise, we've got a whole place to ourselves. Set up camp near the main entrance. Farif nearly jumped out of his skin when he dropped his hammer. It went clanging down the stairs. Kids first out. I reckon even if he swears otherwise, he's lucky this month's above ground at least. Day two. Push further into the ruins. Boss tested out his latest prototype, what he's calling a hook and pull. Oh, that's what I found. Name needs work if you ask me. I showed Farif a simple trick to evaluate salvage. It's less. The less it's rested, the higher price it'll fetch a meridian. All in all, a good day until he insisted I saw the trees shaking across the river. Kids jumpier than a frog on hot coals. Use that one. Day four. Felt a deep rumble in the dead of night. Landshake, baby. But it's got a whole crew on edge. Boss ordered half of us to set up a second camp further in. Figures we'll pick this place clean faster if we split up. No arguments there. I think I'll set up a training dummy for Farrah. Kid can barely hold his own against the borrower. Day six. Only a few of us left. Kid didn't make it. Machine blasted him with acid at the river crossing. You can hear it slithering outside. A few more minutes rest, then going back to the ground floor. And I bet you that's when he got blasted with acid. Machines patrolling ahead. We can tag them in a focus to keep track.
machine ripped right through the wall. There's a ladder in the back. So tell me something. Sona was really okay with you not going back to the Sacred Lands? As the Nora War Chief, she understood why I was obligated to follow you. But as my mother, she wasn't pleased. Is she ever pleased? I don't think I've seen her smile. Me neither. They slaughtered all those Osirim. We'll never get through to the data center. Makes sense. That There's no way to slip past King them. Cobras. They're too tough to fight head on. We could find a settlement, convince some hunters to help us. That would take weeks, and we don't have that kind of time. Maybe all we need is that shuttle to fall. That thing? How? We'll figure it out. Just wait here. Aloy! Trust me. And there she goes. Just need to get hurt. <laughs> Maybe I should stick to my spear for now. Save some ammo. Be able to find a way across to the shuttle. <coughs> it's hard to breathe around this stuff. There. That ladder can get me up to the tower. if I launch myself off that grapple point.
That sounds good. killing all Sarum and leaving acid everywhere. <sighs> Great. Easy. Uh, uh, <sighs> that was close. One rickety tower down. On to the next. Jump. But there is a cable here. Maybe I can ride it to the other side. Clamps holding the shuttle in place. I bet there's a control console nearby. If I can release the clamps, the shuttle should fall right into the basin. Console might be in there. to myself now. Oh. Okay. Time to crush those machines down below. I'm gonna have to climb the tower to find a way to disconnect them.
scanning with my focus could help here. If I pull that beam down, it might drop the access lift. It doesn't sound good. I'm gonna have to detach those cables quick. This should be the right spot. There. That connector is holding the cables together. It should break if I shoot it. One down. I just need to climb higher and attach the second set of cables. Scaling an ancient rickety tower with killing machines waiting down below. Yeah. I was right. But no turning back now.
us the hard way. I need to take this thing down to get to the dam. Okay, where's that weak spot? The data center should be straight ahead. I guess Farrell's gonna have to find another way there. Heal the blight. Restore Elizabeth's dream. But is it still there? Okay. I should find the server room. Mr. Dalgard, he's been a valuable member of Farzina for years. Even Peter saw the need for a polished spokesman to preserve anonymity for the rest of us. I can never say that word. But with all the new members we recruited to increase funds for the Odyssey's expedited timeline, there are simply not enough berths on the ship to accommodate. Cuts had to be made, and let's face it, Oswald lacks the skill set for our future aims. He'll retaliate if we exclude him, of course, so we'll have to give him a proper send-off. But that doesn't mean that his usefulness must end. We have plenty of source material to generate a digital puppet, giving us the means to data corrupt it. here.
what's this we got here? A Farzine's conspiracy to steal a copy of Gaia? And her subordinate functions? Naughty, naughty. You want me to handle this, Liz? Blasphemers! Brood of vipers! With a mighty hand, I smite and pour troubles upon you! Aloy? The goddess. There is no goddess. I told you that already. That's not Gaia. That's not what I'm looking for. It's nothing but a fake. sharp bite sometimes, you know. But it was pretty amazing to see you fly off that tower and blow up the entire basin. The thing is, um, there's going to be more of that. I'm out of leads, Varl. But I, I have to keep searching. And fast, and whatever risks I have to take, I will. And it doesn't make sense to have someone with me. Someone who might get hurt. This is on me, Farrell. Nobody else. Hold on. Before, in Meridian, you said there was a man who helped you. Silence. You said you used to talk to him a lot about things you discovered from the old world, things no one else understands. And he gave you the lance you used to defeat Hades. He's gone, Farrell. I haven't heard from him since the battle against Hades. Sure. But Spymaster Murad back in Meridian, he's good at finding people, isn't he? Varl, I... <sighs> Come on, it might work. Plus, you'll get to see some friendly faces again. <laughs> okay. I... I guess it's worth a shot. We've got a long walk ahead. Actually... I've got a better idea. Savior of Meridian has returned. You earned this welcome. You saved them. Not yet. In the name of the Sun King of Vard, a royal welcome for the champion. Make way. Murad, Aloy has an urgent matter to discuss. Dashain, that makes two of us. I've sent forth hunters for weeks. The sun fall all the way to the sacred land, searching for you. Something happened at the spire. Come. I'll show you.
Watch your step. You saved us all to be sure, but uh, we're still cleaning up the mess. It happened right after the solstice. We were able to explain it away, thank the sun. Otherwise, it might have caused a panic. One night, for less than half a minute, it glowed an angry red. From Meridian, it looked like a trick of the light. But those who were closer, atop the light, said it could not have been a reflection. Much to my dismay, they said the light rose up from the tower's base. From that, we left everything just as it was. What do you think happened? I don't know. The Spire's supposed to send out signals, messages, for the terraforming system. But Hades tried to use it to wake up ancient war machines. I was sure I got the connection to that thing. Wait here while I check it out. Let us know what you find. I've got a bad feeling about this. I don't know. Looks the same as before. I could pull this thing out of the way. Something was transmitted from the top of the spire. I guess I have to find a way up there. This machine was the last line of defense for Hades. It dragged the orb up here and then nearly killed me, but... It's just a piece of scrap metal. Part of the Deathbringer we defeated. We might be able to climb up the scaffolding at the base of the spire. for my focus might help me find a way up. to start. Uh, maybe I can jump to that ledge behind me.
go. Now, how to cross over to the spire. Looks like I can use my pull caster on that. Should be able to get up there now. I thought Silence was helping me when he gave me his lance. But it looks like he tricked me. He transmitted something through the spire. Did he save Hades? Why would he do that? Well, if I can figure out where he sent it. I can track him down. Hopefully the transmission note at the top will tell me. Looks like this panel's ajar. Can I go up through the inside? An elevator? Let's see. I see you finally figured it out. To be honest, I am surprised it took you so long to discover my rules. You rigged the lands to steal Hades. How could you be so reckless? Reckless? You're the one who tried to purge Hades before its precious knowledge could be extracted. The mysterious signal that woke it, for example. But why don't you one of those Gaia backups you've been having such a hard time finding? If you knew, why didn't you just tell me? I've been having problems of my own these past six months, Leloy. The difference is, I've made progress. So once your anger at my entirely necessary deception has faded, then why don't you come out here and find me in the Forbidden West and learn all that I've discovered? Oh, I'll come find you, all right. Yes. Well, the coordinates should make it simple enough. Even for you. Inside it, and it transformed, almost like the day of the battle. I can only be grateful that it's a stormy day. Few will have seen the tower change from Meridian. What did you discover? Hades. The danger didn't end here. It went into the Forbidden West. And I have to follow. I see. That can be difficult. The West is called Forbidden for a reason. A tribe of ferocious warriors controls much of it, the Tanakh, and they allow no trespassers past its border. That said, under the Sun King of Art, a fragile peace has been negotiated, and indeed, the next embassy will take place in a day or two on the edge of the frontier. 
were you to attend the gathering under his auspices, the Tanakh might grant right of passage instead of hunting you and attacking on sight. Great, just what I need. More killers. Uh, the Sun King. Aloy, it's good to see you. You left in such haste. We never had a chance to properly thank you. Can, can we show the champion the spear now, please? It's a min. Quiet. It's true. We bear gifts. Decorum usually calls for a ceremony of offering at the palace, but I thought you would prefer a less formal occasion. Bring them, please. A Avad, this is all very kind, but I... Uthid, Vinasha. Quick, better hand them over before she runs off again. Really? Must you? Try it on. It's beautiful. On behalf of all the citizens of the Sundom, may these tokens remind you of our eternal gratitude. Perhaps you'd like to spend more time with your friends. Come speak to me when you're ready to depart. Um, outfits and whatnot. I need to attach the master override to my new spear. Should be a workbench around here I can use. The sculptor wanted something even bigger, twice the size, covered in gold and jewels. But I was quite certain you wouldn't appreciate that. You were right. I'm sorry, Avad. It's good to see you, but I can't stay long. I see. I had hoped you'd remain in the city for a time. Perhaps at the palace. Meridian's still in danger. But it's bigger than that. To put things right, I have to go west. Tanakh territory. By the sun, the Tanakh? Well, perhaps Murad already told you, but after years of hostility, we've negotiated a truce in hopes of a lasting peace. Another embassy will be held in just a day or two. When you say, years of hostility, I assume you mean the Red Raids? Ah, yes. My favorite subject. I wouldn't ask if I didn't need to know. As you know, my father raided all the border tribes. Asaram, Banuk, and Nora suffered greatly, resisting as best they could. But none fought back like the Tanakh. They rose up and assaulted our western front at Barren Light, sweeping us from their lands. Getting them to talk to us again after that was... tricky. What makes this coming embassy so special? Well, just like today, it is special because of the guest. Our delegation will meet with the Tanakh just outside Baron Light. We'll give them treasure, and they'll return a prisoner. Fashav, one of our finest soldiers. Soldier? Don't you mean raider? No. Not in this case. 
Vishav is my cousin. Nothing like Helis and his ilk. He joined the Western Expedition with the hopes of reining in certain excesses. But he was captured during a heroic defense of our forward base at Cinnabar Sands. And has been held ever since. How did you get the Tanakhs to talk again after the war? The same way I got you to talk. By giving gifts. <laughs> that works. The Tanakhs like tiaras? <laughs> More like medals, spices, and relics looted during the fighting. We've met with them on several occasions, and the gifts seem to have eased the tension. But this coming embassy is the most important yet. The best sign we've had so far that the Tanakh want lasting peace. Your cousin, Vashav. How long has he been a Tanakh captive? Five years. Tanakh emissaries swear he is well, but I wonder. That tribe is renowned for its brutality. How did he survive? Well, I'll know soon enough. If you see him before I do, tell him that I await him in Meridian, where he belongs. If I see him, I will. Edelman looks happy. You got him out of Sunfall. Any happiness he has, he owes to you. He's turning into a fine young man. Which he'll need to be if he's to inherit the crown. Wouldn't the crown go to a son of yours first? <laughs> yes, well... I'd have to get married for that to happen. Murad keeps throwing noble matches at me. But I find I'm always trying to make them into someone they're not. At any rate, I never aspired to the throne, and I don't wish to sit there forever. When Edaman comes of age, I hope to step aside. Free of the crown. I might finally be able to travel the world. Who knows? Perhaps even accompany you on one of your adventures. You make it sound easy. I... I need to get going. Uh, one moment, Aloy. There's something I must ask you. Since you left, I've thought of little else. This isn't really the time. But it has to be. The way you left before, there's no way to know when I'll see you again. I'm not trying to stop you. Or hold you back. But I need to know. When your mission is over, will you return to Meridian? And stay? Long enough for us to spend time, to get to know each other properly, perhaps. I remember in the first game, picking the heart for everybody ended up being one of the, uh, one of the unlocks at the end of the game. I do hope to see Meridian again, Avat. And you. But... This mission... It's my life. It's all I can think about. I have to stay focused. What happens after... I can't imagine that. I... I wouldn't know where to begin. Well... If that place were to end up being Meridian... Know that you will always receive a boundless welcome here. Tend to your mission, Aloy. I will hope for your success. And look forward to your return. Machine carcasses. Remnants from the Battle of the Alight. We were almost overrun by the machines Hades controlled. But we pushed through.
Dowager Queen Nasadi. Blessed champion. Itaman, what do you say? My humblest thanks to you, great champion, for delivering my mother and me from Sunfall, and for defending our holy city against the forces of shadow. Did I say right? You said it fine, Itaman. And you're welcome. Champion, will you teach me how to shoot like a real machine hunter? Itaman. I, uh... I have to go on an important mission, Prince. To save the world? Something like that. But when I come back, I could give you a few tips. It would be an honor. We owe you our lives, champion. And we will not forget. May the sun light your way. Watch out for Thunderjaws, champion! I should be flattered by the statue. It feels wrong. Especially when my job's only half done. Looks like a memorial. Honoring those who fell in the Battle of the Alight. Lots of brave people defended this place from Hades. There, the workbench. Uthid, Fanasha, thanks for being here. Wouldn't miss it, even if you did leave us hanging after the big battle. Fanasha, stop. She's here now, isn't she? For the moment, but I see that look on her face. She's got business to attend to, and it isn't in Meridian. You know, I didn't vanish before because I wanted to. I have... No, Huntress, please. You don't have to justify yourself to us. You saved our butts. If you've got to go, go. With our blessing. Always. You both look like you're doing well. Mr. Shiny Pants here is now the Sun King's senior military advisor. That means people actually have to listen to him talk? May the sun bless their sorry souls. At least I say something of substance every once in a while. What was that? I just fell asleep while you were talking. And how about you, Vanasha? I've been looking after Nasadi and Edaman, two parts bodyguard, one part... Bad influence. Huh. I was gonna say nanny, but I like your version better. I never pictured you as a nanny. Edaman must be special. Hold on now. I'm not entirely domesticated. Nasadi was the mad Sun King's wife. She has enemies. I've had to foil a plot or two. Right. You can try to hide it, but inside, you're as soft as a silk pillow. Oh, you have no idea. Huh? Oh, dear. Uh, we were talking about Edaman? Yeah. Okay, I admit it. Edaman's cute. He's fun. And he looks up to me. I like him. Except when he forgets to wash his hands after hooking worms in that muddy garden behind a solarium. Blech. <laughs> it's been months since I was in Sunfall. What's become of the Shadow Karja? <laughs> after you wiped out the Eclipse, there were hardly any priests or officers left to terrorize the little people. Avad offered amnesty to all who were forced to serve the Shadow. So the commoners cleaned out the citadel and handed it back to him. The Sundom was unified. Avad wanted Uther to take command of the garrison there, but Captain Cudley here refused. Rumor has it that he wanted to stay close to me here in Meridian. <laughs> That's nonsense, of course. <laughs> well, I, I know. I know. You're out. Go! Away with you. Always an honor, champion. Always a pleasure. But please, little Huntress, come back someday and tell us about your adventures. 
If I can't get in trouble, at least I can hear about yours. override installed. Plus, something new to store up and release energy. A uh, resonator. Should help in a fight. Are you ready to go? Or do you need a little more time? I better get going. And if I'm headed west, it sounds like I'll need rite of passage from the Tanakh, as you said. Where exactly is this embassy going to be held? Past the Dawns, the canyon that marks the western border of the Sundom. You'll find the fortress of Baron Light at its farthest edge. The embassy will take place just beyond its gates. It's a long march, a fortnight on foot. A couple of days hard riding should get us there. Actually, it might be better to rest here tonight. Head out in the morning. Of course. I'll arrange it. Oh. 
fox to steal. Ha! Never seen anyone use one of those to get around. Is that how I get to Baron Light? Uh, yes, I mean, usually, but not today. Uh, not yet. And why is that? Well, the Daunt. The whole valley. It's infested with machines. I can handle machines. Oh, I'm sure you can, but uh, I'm under strict orders not to operate until the whistle down at Chain Scrape sounds the all clear. Look, I didn't come all this way just to stand around and wait. I'll crank that car down myself if I have to. Well, but then... Who would crank it back up? Fine, fine. <sighs> Though, should anyone ask, it might be best to say you forced me. I see smoke. But not a lot of activity. Smoke's probably coming from something the machines wrecked. As for the quiet, well, there's a work stoppage in effect because of all the fuss. What sort of machines are causing the trouble? Nasty ones, and lots of them. Bristlebacks, they're called. The strangeness is, they're not native to the dot. Just showed up, all of a sudden. No hunters to kill them? We've got hunters, just none that want to cross Olvent. Boss of Chain Scrape. He is self-appointed. Work stoppage is his idea. Yeah, well, I'm just passing through. Got an embassy to attend. You should have said that ain't gonna happen no time soon. What are you talking about? Hear that? That's your answer. Who is that? Karja's son priest. Cranked him down yesterday, about an hour before the machine trouble started. He's a very important man, or so he says. That embassy at Baron Light, he's the one supposed to run it! Ah! Great. You don't do as I say immediately. The Sun King himself shall hear of your insolence. Thanks to you, I was forced to spend the night shivering in the tent. Exposed to attack, I might have died. Oh, me you refuse to transport, but not this... This... What? This Nora girl? This savage? Besides Scallywag? Wadis. That's Aloy. Studious Wadis. Aloy? You know, Savior of Meridian? Really? Well, that lessens the insult, I suppose. I came here for the Embassy of Baron Light. The way I hear it, so did you. Well, not with the valley infested. And so did Aramon proclaim the Sun Priests most precious and worthy of safekeeping. See? Scripture. I shall head to Baron Light when the captain of the Vanguard tells me the way is clear, and not a moment sooner. Fine. Captain's a friend of mine, you know? Where is Erend? Wouldn't mind speaking to someone a little more action, a little less scroll. Wadis. Studious Wadis. Studious. Wadi sent Aaron and another vanguard out at daybreak to clear the way. And so at daybreak. Hey! Shh. Down the valley then? Yeah. Said they checked the ruins on the left bank for tracks. Take it from there. Okay. I hear there's a work stoppage. Any way to upgrade my gear? I'll bet the Smith and Chain Scrape would let you use his workbench. As for the bristlebacks, you might want to craft some acid arrows. Yes, Hitting their canisters with those will take them down quick. Thanks. I'll find Aaron, and I'll bring him back. Hey! Where do you think you're going? What? To the top of the ridge. To wait in safety. 
Sorry. Operator's under strict orders. No passengers till the whistle blows, right? That's right. <laughs> Best start cranking. <laughs> Why? Why? Jorf, would you kindly escort Studious to James Grape and wait for me there? You got it. I will find Erend, and I will help clear a path. But after that, no more excuses. Baron Light. Embassy. If such be the will of the sun. It will be. Trust me. I gotta find Erend. But it might be good to hit Chain Scrape first and upgrade my bow. Machines weak to fire. Those machines must have torn through this camp. This valley definitely isn't safe. It's green like blaze, but it's hard and shiny. I wonder if merchants would be interested. back. Maybe Erend took it down? <sighs> Ground soaked with acid. Did the foot must be chain scrape. Jeruf said I could get my bow upgraded in there. Might be able to tinker with my other gear too. Outlander approaching. A savior? Want to come in, savior? Welcome to Chainscrape, savior. Open up, guys. Jar of Sorters. Good enough for me. By the forge. Petra? Aloy, what are you doing here? Uh, 
About time there was something worth looking at in this dump. It's nice to see you two. And not a moment too soon. Come on. I... Damn brewery's the only thing I can count on in this place. Yeah, I heard. Machines, work stoppage. Oh, those are just the latest malfunctions. Chain scrape's always been a few tools short of a kit. And right there is the biggest tool of all. Our land, not our problem. The bristlebacks are everybody's problem. Roland? You've heard of him. Yeah. But he's a story best told over a cold beer. Uh, Petra, Petra. I'm just passing through. I'm headed west. Oh. There's an embassy at, at Baron Light I need to make happen, and then I keep moving. Ah, of course. Bigger gears to grind. Well, Flame Hair, good to see you. You've got to move on. Petra. But if you want a cold beer and a few laughs with an old friend, come find me at the brewery. Your choice. This old one guy sounds like trouble. Maybe Petra could use some support. But first things first, I need to find that workbench and upgrade my bow. Look at you! How am I supposed to work with a hammer in this state? Till Alvin blows that whistle, no one's working it. This should be useful. Yeah, now I just need to find Aaron and help him clear the bristlebacks. Some kind of payment. My dear magistrate, you think I can be bought? If you want that whistle blown, all you have to do is have your soldiers remove the bristlebacks and sign the concession decree. Face it, what other choice do you have? <clears throat> Hi. Savior, what auspicious timing. Might we discuss a matter of importance to the Sundom? We might. Later. Very well. I shall be waiting. So, the savior herself. Walloper of Durval, gutter of youth. Uh, maybe. I've heard many tales of your beauty and heroics, my fierce lady warrior. Olfant Freeholder, at your service. 
So, what could have dragged you away from the fine silks and wine of Meridian to this smudge of a settlement? Your saviorly attention must be needed elsewhere. I'm here for the embassy and- The embassy? Why, well, uh, by the forge. Ah, greater gears for greater matters. Guess that means you'll be moving on. Once I've dealt with any problems around here that need my saviorly attention. Ah, the bristlebacks, of course. Got to get rid of them if you want that embassy to take place. Well, best get to it, hey? And off you go. Not so fast. You don't seem to have a high opinion of the magistrate. Well, I refuse to play nice to some fancy-robed parchment pusher when my fellow laborers are being bullied, intimidated, and taken advantage of. How noble of you. Noble? Ha! Born with a hammer in hand, I was. Nobody handed me anything or dropped opportunity into my lap. Everything I've achieved, I've done on my own. And where is this hammer now? The, uh, burden of leadership forced me to set it aside. The Karja risk nothing while demanding that good Osram gamble with their lives out there. Someone had to step up and say no more. You ordered the work stoppage? Indeed I did. We're laborers, not soldiers. Until the Karja clean up their mess and give us the fair deal we deserve, I'm not risking Osram lives. Fair deal? You mean your concession decree? It's not my decree. It's on behalf of all the good Osirum laborers of this land who do all the backbreaking work while only the Karja reap the rewards. All we're asking for is the ability to share in this prosperity for a land worked by the people for the people. Right. And just how much would be your share? Only an amount appropriate to my contributions to this community, uh, of course. If Chainscrape is on Karja land, shouldn't a Karja be in charge? Who appointed you? The sensibilities of good Osram folk, of course. You think a Karja can head this whole venture? Ah! The Magistrate can barely make the trek from Baron Light without losing a few screws. So you have no real authority then? People only follow you because you say so. Loudly. Anyone who has followers has authority. I've been with Chainscrape from the beginning. I mean, I'm practically its founder, and its honest folk know I'm indispensable to its success. You said you founded Chainscrape. Somehow I doubt that. Practically founded, I said. I alone saw its potential when it was just a smattering of tents in barren light shadow. I invested in the mine, convinced some friends back home to do the same, and here we are. You could say Chain Scrape is what it is, thanks to me. Oh, so you're not just standing around and profiting off everyone else? Not at all. Sure, I make a little return on my investment here and there, but my main priority, as it was from the beginning, is to look after the well-being of these honest, working Osram. Where's the whistle? Right in the middle of town, but with the threat out there, I'm not endangering innocent Osram lives. I'm going to clear out the bristlebacks. And when I'm done, this valley is going to get moving. If that's what it takes. Until then, I'll keep looking after the safety of these good folk. Just be ready to blow the whistle. Better see what that Karja magistrate wanted. I bet he's in the tavern.
Hey, Mildef. Mildef. I took some of your stew last time I went into the wild. It kept me going for a week. I felt like I could have put a strider in a sleeper hole. Enjoy it while it lasts. Sounds like you're serving up some uh, impressive provisions here. <sighs> Not again. You can have the discount too, but you'll have to come back later. I think you have me confused with someone else. Oven didn't send you? No. Oh, my apologies. It's just that his minions won't stop pestering me. <sighs> now I've even worn out my special grill. Since I'm in the midst of a crisis, perhaps you could skip to what it is you wanted? Some of your food? Of course. Are Alvin's people causing you problems? Oh, yeah. They constantly demand my best, but the equipment I need to make my signature dishes isn't built for batch cooking. And don't get me started on the Olven discount they feel so entitled to. And if you refuse? I make meals. No trouble. How did you end up in Chainscrape? Heard about a new and upcoming town at the edge of the frontier. Where there's a town, there's a tavern. I was in need of work. So I got myself out here and started cooking. Some of these people had never tasted proper boars and berries stew before. Anyway, next thing I knew, people kept coming back. I guess they like my food. Or the ale. Your last customer mentioned your cooking really kept him going out in the wild. Where I'm headed, I could use some of that. I would be happy to oblige, especially since you have the decency to ask pleasantly. But? But my special groove griddle is no more. Without it, I can't cook any of my signature dishes. I hate to think what'll happen when I'm forced to refuse Olven or his goons. Even if I already had the right ingredients, there's nothing I can do. Unless you can source me a temporary replacement? What do you need? For the ingredients. A few pieces of decent wild meat, and I'd say a big handful of bitter leaf stems. That'll do. As for the griddle, a corrugated metal panel might suffice until I can have a new one forged. You'd likely find one in a scrounger pile if you follow the river to the northeast. Don't worry, I'll clean it first. <laughs> You'll have no issue finding boars and bitter leaf on your way, assuming you're as much a hunter-gatherer as your clothing suggests. Thanks, Mildef. I'll keep an eye out. So that's what gratitude sounds like. And don't let anyone push you around, okay? If you say so. filled with angry glyphs. Javad, please help. The product in question maimed me. I filled out the required form below and still can't get a refund from Della, Della and Boomer. I beg you, give me justice. Complainant, Jordan Guardsman. Product description, Bang Buster. I think, Boom Buster? Doesn't matter, bought it three days ago. I know you remember me. Incident description. Again, I just told you, I was demonstrating this scorched out hammer to my fellow guardsman by slamming it on a piece of rock, and instead of booming the rock, it boomed towards me. And now I don't have any eyebrows. Am I surprised? Am I sad? Nobody can tell, since I no longer have eyebrows. So in case you weren't aware, let me tell you, I'm very unhappy, and I want my shards back. Refund. Denied. Costume was made, full, was made fully aware of the prototype's vol volatility at the time of purchase. Proceeded with purchase regardless, proclaiming, I am not a baby. Apparently, he is. Savior, thank you for taking the time, and my condolences that you had to endure all of us bloviating. I've dealt with worse. It sounds like he's really trying to put you over the barrel. The idea that the Karja purposely let Bristlebacks into the dawn, it's, it's completely absurd. But the louder and longer he says it, the more support he'll get for his damned concession decree. How did the Bristlebacks get into the Daunt? 
No one knows for sure. The first report of them came from west of the quarry. But unless they have wings I don't know about, I don't see how they could have come over the mountains. No other way in. The only way I know about is barren light. Look, if you can get to the bottom of this, I can offer a considerable bounty in return. Help me shut Olvent up. How did you get stuck out here? I asked for the posting, believe it or not. Overseeing the entire valley on behalf of the Sun King? It was an honor. Is an honor, I mean. But your job would be a lot easier without someone like Ulvind blasting hot air all the time? Ulvind's not going anywhere. He's been around longer than I have. Even fancies himself the founder of Chainscrape. <sighs> well, I'll find a way to live with him. I have to. What is this concession decree that Olvind wants? He wants the Sundom to designate portions of the Daunt as Osaram holdings. Only the portions, mind you, that produce any value. Let me guess. Because he stands to profit somehow? Exactly. With the Daunt under Osaram law, he could secure more investment for their numerous ventures. He can't get those investments without the concession? No. Not while there's a chance the Sundom could revoke their access. Hence, why the concession is so important to him. And why blaming the Karja for the Bristlebacks, no matter how absurd, works in his favor. How does blaming the Karja for the Bristlebacks help Ulvin get his concession? Look around. This may be the Sundom, but... Chain scrape is all gears and rust and bad ale. Claiming that the Karja loosed the bristlebacks in order to intimidate Osaram laborers into obedience. Well, let's just say no one here has forgotten the atrocities of the mad Sun King. And with the bristlebacks bringing work in the valley to a halt, Alvunt has plenty of time to pick at barely healed wounds. And if the Osaram refuse to work, unless the concession is signed, you won't have a choice. Correct. The reconstruction of Baron Light must continue. You said the Bristlebacks were first spotted west of the quarry? Yes, according to one terrified laborer, said the ground trembled before they came charging down the hillside. He took off and ran all the way here. Good place to start looking, then. If you learn the truth, maybe Ulvant will stop blaming the Karja for every problem under the sun, and maybe then he'll actually focus on rebuilding Baron Light instead.